Welcome to Embedded C. In this video, we will understand the UART protocol from the basics. In general, communication in embedded system is divided into two types, that is serial communication and parallel communication. Parallel communication is faster than the serial communication. You will understand this. Serial communication has two types of byte reference as shown here. It must be first and LSB first. It will look like this. You will see how the character A is transferred in case of parallel transfer and serial transfer. Here, parallel transfer transmits all the bits of character A in a single time with multiple lines. In case of serial, it takes more time as it has single line. Serial communication has single line, but parallel communication has multiple lines, so it transmits faster than the serial. Now you may ask a question, why serial communication is used widely? Parallel communication has some disadvantages as it has multiple lines. So it consumes more space and electrical and physical constraints. Serial has advantages like less lines, cost effective and easy to implement. UR, SPI, I2C, USB and Ethernet are some serial protocols. Let us establish a serial link. Let's take character A is to be transferred from the microcontroller A to the microcontroller B in serial with a single line. For this transfer, character A is used. 0x41 is the ASCII X representation and this is the binary representation of character A. Microcontroller A and microcontroller B needs a single line connection for a serial transfer. Both MCU understands the high as a 1 and low as 0. So, to transfer character A, the line is toggled like 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, as shown here, so that it will be transferred from one MCU to other. This has some limitations in this approach. MCUB has no idea when MCUB starts sending data or when it stops. MCUB directly translates MCUA pin levels to a data and cannot differentiate between data and noise. No fixed rules on size of data being sent or received between MCUA and MCUB. This limitation can be avoided by adding the start and stop rate. This will have generate the synchronization and parity will 
avoid the noise and set data by bits in the synchronization. And this approach has one more limitation. No fixed rules on size of data being sent or received between MCUE and MCUE. Here we will see the start communication is initiated and we can see like the difference of lines between two different data lines. Here we can see the start time is different from the data 0 and it continues to the other data also. Let's move to UART. UART stands for Universal Asynchronous Receiver Transmitter. It is defined protocol. UART is very device independent. Yes, UART hardware can support part of the device. So we can connect any UART to any other PC or anything by following it. These are the frame of your first target and followed by seven or eight data bits and parity bit and stop it. Stop it can be two or more. Parity bit is optional. It can be an even parity or a hard parity. We will understand it. So now we understood that how the UART protocol is defined, like why the start bit and stop bit and parity and a baud rate. Baud rates needs to be similar between the one MCU to the other MCU so that it can have a synchronization between each other. This will enable the UART transfer. This is the UART connection MCUA and MCUB. MCUA's TX is connected to RX and MCUA's RX is connected to MCUB's TX and it has a common ground. Typical UART configuration is 98008M1 and 56008M1 and 11520811. Understand the parity. It counts the number of bits with the value of 1 and checks if the total is an even or odd number. If the parity bit is a 1 or parity, the bit 1 bits in the data frame should total to an odd number. You want errors and states. Overflow. Next frame arrives before previous in is read. Underflow. Data sent but next data not in buffer. Break. Bus in low condition for too long. That is greater than start bit plus a data bit. Parity error. Parity different than receive. Framing error. Framist incomplete or invalid starts and or stop condition. Advantages. UART is simple to set up. Electrically robust. Most MCU support. Easy to use. Disadvantages of. You are no protocol level error correction, fairly accurate reference clock, what should match, no support for multiple master and slave.
If you have any queries or suggestion, please post it in the comments. If you really like this video, please hit the like button. If you want to get more updates or more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel.